Um, and it's also very close to Sister Nadia from the United Arab Emirates question. She's asking about the importance of the 15th night of Sha'aban. And here we have a question from Sister Rukeya, uh, who's also asking about observing th- certain days in Sha'aban. Like she said, three days she's observed fasting. Uh, she says also the 16th of Sha'aban. Can we clarify the issue of Sha'aban, Sheikh? Well, number one, concerning... Uh, there has been a lot of controversy mm. concerning the middle of Sha'aban and, and the middle night of the month of Sha'aban and what kind of ibadah to be offered and so on. We've agreed before that to perform an act of worship, there has to be a reference. Because the description of how to perform this ibadah has to be described by the Prophet ﷺ. So if we don't have any strong reference that the Prophet ﷺ did that, then we should not do it. We should not specify any certain or specific time or place with any specific ibadah, with any number of rak'ahs or tasbih or charity, unless there is a certain reference, solid, strong uh, reference for that. Let's now examine all the references uh, which came concerning the middle of Sha'aban. Even those who believe in that, they would tell you that, yes, I understand all the hadith in that regard is, are weak. Not only that, let me elaborate, elaborate on that furthermore. Actually, they are fabricated, not only weak. Such as the hadith which says that whenever it is the middle of the Sha'aban, you must pray at night and fast during the day. There is no such reference. These are all fabricated a hadith. We do not rely on fabricated a hadith in initiating an act of worship. The middle of Sha'aban is a very blessed night. Why? And Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in a much more sound hadith that on every single night, in the last one third of the night, Allah the Almighty descends by Himself to our holy sky. In a certain way that he only him knows how it how it is done, and he calls upon us. Hal min mustaghfirin fa'alfir ala? Is there anyone who's asking for for forgiveness? So I shall forgive him his sins. Hal min da'in fa'ujiba? Is there anyone who's supplicating so that I will answer his supplication, etc.? That's taking place on every single night, not just on the night of Sha'ban. So what's so specific about the middle of Sha'ban? Some people to the point they claim that the middle of Sha'ban, this is the night on which Allah ordains all the decrees for the upcoming year. This is totally false. And it's proven false by the Qur'an. Didn't we recite repeatedly, for example in Surah Al-Qadr, إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةِ الْقَدْرِ We have sent it down on the night of the decree. Which night is it? Which night is it? It is Laylatul Qadr. When does it take place? The night of the decree. In Ramadan. Not only in Ramadan, but in the last third of Ramadan. In the odd nights of Ramadan. So it's not in the middle of the Sha'ban. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Dukhan concerning that night, فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٌ During this night, Laylatul Qadr, Allah declares the decrees which take place in the following year, in the upcoming year, to the angels. So they will ex- execute them whenever they're due for the following. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا بِأَمِرَ رَبِّهِمْ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ تَنَزَّلُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالْرُوحُ فِيهَا The angels, along with Jibreel alayhi salam, a ruh, they receive the commands of the upcoming year from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. بِكُلِّ أَمْرٍ مِنْ كُلِّ أَمْرٍ of every command that will take place, such as this person will be born, and that person will, will die on this day, and there will be a hurricane there, and there will be a flood there, and so forth. So that is not during the night, the middle of Sha'ban at all, according to the verses of the Qur'an in both Surah Al-Qadr and in Surah al dukhan This is number one. Number two, concerning fasting after the 15th of uh, Sha'ban. We have first to understand that the hadith, hadith Abu Hurairah and others, when the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa recommended to fast three days, and we said that these three days are known as the white days, 13th, 14th, and 15th. That applies to every lunar month, including the month of Sha'ban. So there is no specific privilege 
for fasting th these three days on Sha'ban more than any other time. But the month of Sha'ban is a very virtuous month because the Nabi ﷺ used to fast most of it. Hadith Aisha in both in Bukhari and Muslim, she said that the Prophet ﷺ used to fast sometimes the whole Sha'ban and once again she said most of the month of Sha'ban. Why? Because it falls between two great months, Rajab and Ramadan. So most people neglect fasting and worship during this month. That is the only specific thing concerning fasting. There is a hadith which is uh, collected by Abu Dawood with Tirmidhi and others and narrated by Abu Hurairah, may Allah be pleased with him in it. He says that the Prophet sallallahu said, إِذَنْ تَصَفَ رَمَضَان إِذَنْ تَصَفَ شَعْبَان فَلَا تَصُومُ Once it is in the middle of Sha'ban, hold on fasting, do not fast anymore. So it is disliked disliked to resume fasting, voluntary fasting after the middle of Sha'ban. Why? As a means of preparing yourself for the long mandatory course of fasting during Ramadan. The hadith of Aisha which is just quoted for Bukhari Muslim along uh, with another hadith narrated by Abu Huraira in both Al-Bukhari and Muslim said the Prophet وسلم, in it he said that the Prophet said لا تقدموا رمضان بصوم يوم أو يومين Hold on fasting, do not fast a day or two before Ramadan. Then he made an exception. He said, except if somebody who had a habit of fasting, then he may fast because he have the habit. So that gives us the conclusion as follows. If somebody has the habit of fasting regularly on Mondays and Thursdays, he is allowed to resume fasting even after the middle of Sha'ban, all the way until one day before Ramadan all the way even in the last, mid, in last half of Sha'ban. If somebody have the habit of fasting every other day, as long as you have a habit, it is permissible. But if one does not have the habit of fasting, voluntary fasting, then all of a sudden he wants to start fasting after the middle of Sha'ban, we say it is mere dislike, it's not recommended. You better withhold and prepare yourself for fasting on Ramadan.